name is Andrea, I work for 350.org um, and we're here today as part of 2,000 events happening in the world in 177 countries and we're here to raise awareness um, to the public as well as to our government on how we need to start moving away from fossil fuels towards a, a low carbon sustainable future. So today there's going to be um, a mass procession. We're hoping to get about um, three, four hundred, five hundred, maybe a thousand people to come along and march through the streets of Cape Town. Um, what we want to do is we want to we want to show people that we need to move away from fossil fuels and that we need to go towards a sustainable and a carbon-free future. We're, we're, we're part of the. Um, uh, we have Faith Act Now Anyways. for Climate Justice, yeah. which is the whole um, faith communities initiative in, in calling on the governments of the world to arrive at a, at a proper agreement that's going to get us onto a sustainable route for the future. Thank you. And so it's all part of the, I mean, 350 is a part of it as well, um, but we're specifically uh, trying to gear up and motivate the faith communities to get involved in this. So the whole purpose of Moving Planet is to get people to change the way that we're living so that it reduces carbon emissions in the atmosphere. And this particular event was really about getting policy to change. But we decided to do it a little bit differently here in South Africa because we have really great policies. It's just not a lot happening around civil society partnering with the government. So we have a great constitution, we have wonderful legislation, even around green issues, there is room for change, but we really wanted civil society to take on more responsibility. So our event, we have five key messages around actions that we feel that people can take, um, in addition to supporting the government as they create change. So the very first one is around reduction of fuel consumption, we have a whole bunch of cyclists. The second one is going to be around renewable energy, the third one is around recycling, the fourth one is greening and the very last one is about buy and eat local um, and then what we wanted to do is celebrate the initiatives that the city has already taken so we have bike routes we have the my city bus they have the climate smart campaign so that's one of the initiatives that's here is we have the cape town city climate smart campaign so it's really about coming together and building community 350 is a number that we're trying to create awareness about in the whole world and it's the safe amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. At the moment we are at 390 parts per million and we need to get down to 350 parts per million carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. If we, if we start going up to 450 we will have something what is runaway climate change where we cannot control it anymore. Um, I am working for an organization called Project 90 by 2030. Um, and I've been one of the organizers for this event. 90 by 2030, um, it means we're trying to change the way South Africans live 90% by the year 2030 in terms of lifestyle and behavior change. We have organizers or supporters in every country in the world. Um, this year we have events in 177 countries in the world. Um, the organization, the movement started in the US by a group of university students and it's just growing and growing and growing. Um, everyone who's doing an event today is volunteering. Um, it's not like we pay people to do these things. Um, it's work that inspires them and that they're passionate about and they feel that's really needed. Change in the way we live, the way we travel, the way we eat, and the way we connect with each other. Climate change is real. It's happening right here on our African doorstep. And it's time that we move away from fossil fuels. Yes. We're not going to solve the climate crisis if we continue using fossil fuels. Yes. And in South Africa, that means coal for our electricity and fuel for our cars. Everywhere, we are marching for a future where all people have access to clean and healthy air, water and land. And thus access to clean and healthy food, energy, houses and transportation. Please know that you are one of thousands of people around the world gathering today on every continent in 170 countries in a thousand different countries. On this day, from Afghanistan to 
Zimbabwe. People are coming together just like we are. Just try to imagine how much sweat and how much love has been expanded around the world today. We know that your work will continue long after this day is over. So for those of you who are interested in staying informed and getting involved in local efforts, please join our Facebook group, 350 Moving Planets Cape Town. Or you can sign up on 350.org. Today's events can't change the world overnight, but they can be powerful visual evidence of how much bigger and broader the green movement is growing. A movement that the world needs now more than ever. I, I am here just to speak on behalf of Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who hoped to be here and is totally committed to this campaign and has endorsed it. Yes. And we call on our governments to take seriously, no longer just to be concerned about profits, but to be concerned about the planet and about principles and about our future. Thank you, 350. We're all part of the same campaign to ensure a future for us all. Well done, 350.